Hello and welcome to the history of the fifth element. Today's episode, Jean-Baptiste Emmanuel Zorg. And here we go. Jean-Baptiste Emmanuel Zorg is the central antagonist of the 1997 sci-fi action film The Fifth Element. He is secretly working for the ultimate evil and is willing to use any means to reach his goals. Zorg is a lifelong founder and owner of his powerful namesake weapons manufacturing company known as Zorg Industries. He is first seen on his way to a meeting with the Mangalore mercenaries who destroy the Mondo Chauvin ship. One of his workers arrive with a message suggesting that they fire employees in response to potential trouble with the economy. When Zorg suggests firing a million employees, he tries to argue that 500,000 would be enough, only to be met with a glare that sends him running off. At the meeting, he demonstrates his newest weapon, an all-in-one assault pod weapon system called the ZF-1, to the Mongolors, offering four cases of the guns in exchange for the four element stones. When the case proves to be empty, and they threaten him for compensation, he leaves them one case, deliberately not warning them about the weapon's self-destruct, and letting most of them die in the resulting explosion. Afterwards, he sends for a priest named Vito Cornelius, whom he'd asked about the elements before, and has him brought to his office. Vito refuses, and Zorg tells him of his philosophy while serving himself a drink believing that life is an inevitable result of destruction. As he begins to choke on the drink's cherry, Vito counters that his so-called power means nothing to him when he is being killed by something so small, and saves him, prompting Zorg to spare him for the moment. Zorg then sends his assistant, right arm, to spy on the president, that they learn that the diva has the four elements. When they learn about Corbin Dallas winning a contest, right arm tips off the police, and Zorg sends him in Corbin's place. However, the police arrest one of Corbin's neighbors by mistake, and when it turns out that Corbin is already on the plane, he kills right arm by detonating his phone. Zorg later gets a call from Mr. Shadow, the ultimate evil, who demands the four elements and tells him that he will be arriving shortly. Terrified, he flies off to Floston Paradise himself, where he steals another chest from the Diva's suite, shooting Lilu in the process and leaving a miniature bomb to destroy the cruise shuttle. After he realizes that he has another decoy, he returns to the ship, barely missing Corbin and the rest. He manages to disarm his bomb with five seconds left, but the Mangalores, who had tried to get the elements for themselves, only to be defeated by Corbin and Lilu, activate their own bomb, destroying the shuttle and Zorg. The original script had Zorg surviving, thanks to a protective force field in a ZF-1, but is stranded on a nearby moon. Zorg is one of very few main antagonists who do not meet the main protagonist at any point throughout the film. The reason why Zorg lost most of his hair and has a scar near his right eye, a limp, and possibly an artificial leg is never mentioned. It is mostly likely related to why Zorg is so terrified of Mr. Shadow in the scene where Zorg's scalp bleeds from underneath the skullcap. Hey, thank you for watching the history of the fifth element. Special thanks to the Villains Wiki and all contributors for all information you heard today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can. If you have, thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.